In this example, we are going to use Newton's second law to solve the problem of acceleration. So we have two objects, M1 and M2. M1 is uh, 10 kilograms, and M2 is 7 kilograms. These two objects are, are connected to each other through the pulley. The pulley is massless, and there is no friction on the pulley. Between the table and the block, we have a friction. The coefficient of kinetic friction, mu, is 0 0.1. The objective is to find the acceleration and the tension in the cord. In order to find the acceleration, first we need the free body diagram, means we need to show all the forces applied on the object and then use Newton's law to get the acceleration. M1, we say this uh, 10 kilograms, and M2 is 7 kilograms. Uh, the object M1 uh, under tension. The tension is the force applied from the object M2 on M1. Uh, the surface is rough. We have a friction force. This friction all the time is against in the motion. So let's suppose our object it will go in that direction and this object will move in that direction. Uh, then if the object is uh, M1 is moving eastward, the friction force all the time will be in the opposite direction of motion. So it will be, uh, we call it friction force. This F means force, FR means friction. We call it friction force or force of friction. We have this friction from the floor. Then the object M1 has mass. By definition, it will have a weight. And this weight is M1G is perpendicular to the ground. Uh, and also we have the table. The table will be pushing the block upward. Uh, we call it normal force. Is the force from the floor on the object. And uh, by definition is perpendicular to the surface where the object is located. We call it normal force. Then we circle the object too. We see what push and what pulls on the object too. Uh, we have the weight, which is M2G. And then we have a tension T2 from the object M1 will be pulling also on the object M2. We call it T, T2. Uh, remember, this T2, it will be identical to T1 in magnitude because we have a condition. The pulley is massless and there is no friction on the pulley. So if there is no friction or there is no mass for the pulley, this T2 will be equal to T1. We just call it T, tension in the cord. Now we have all the forces. This is the direction of motion for the object one. It will go east and uh, M2 will go downward. Now uh, let's sketch this. We shrink the object. This is M1. We are working on M1. We said we have M1G, normal force, Fn, friction, friction force, then the tension. This is the free body diagram for the object M1. For the object M2, M2G, and then T upward. So remember the direction of motion of M2 is downward. This is the direction of motion of M2. The direction of motion of M1 is eastward. Now once we have all the forces applied on each object, we are going to use the Newton's law. Sigma F equals to MA. Sigma means sum of all the forces applied on the object. If I start with M1, how many forces I have? I have four vectors. It will be Fn plus T plus M1G plus friction force. Because the sum of these forces will be the mass one times the acceleration. 
So, and we go to the algebraic value. That means this f to be in in term the sigma f will be in term of sigma f in x direction and sigma f in y direction. We look for x-axis, anything that, that is going in the direction of motion is positive. Anything that goes in opposite direction of motion will be negative. That means tension is going east positive, friction force is west negative on x-axis, and this is equals to the mass 1 times acceleration. So remember, the only acceleration we have is on x direction because the object is slides on the surface, is not flying. Uh, the only acceleration will be the horizontal acceleration is, the direction, is in the direction of motion of the object. So for vertical, there is no vertical motion, means the object is not flying, in the, it's just on the surface. There is no acceleration on vertical direction. What that means, sigma Fy will be the normal force upward positive, M1G downward negative, and this is equal zero. Like I said, there is no acceleration on vertical direction. Fn equals M1G. Why we need Fn? Because we, we know the friction force by definition is the coefficient of friction times normal force. So this you need to remember. We have two kinds of frictions, kinetic friction and static friction. The static friction is the force needed to get the object going. The kinetic friction is the force needed to keep the object going. In this case, we have this kinetic friction because the object is accelerating, we are looking for the acceleration and this force of friction has to be kinetic. And by definition, the friction force is given by the coefficient of friction times normal force. If the friction is kinetic, we add K down here and this coefficient will be coefficient of kinetic friction. We said uh, for the object M1, we have um, on x-axis, we have the tension minus friction force. The friction force equals the coefficient uh, equals to the mass one times acceleration, and the normal force m1g. Now we need to find this friction force. We say this is just the coefficient of friction times normal force. That means the friction force here. Let me put it here. It will be the coefficient of friction times normal force, and normal force is just m1g. So I go to this equation and replace the friction force by the coefficient of kinetic friction. I can add k if I want to. The coefficient of kinetic friction times the mass 1 times g. So the tension t minus mu k m1g equals to the mass 1 times acceleration. Now I keep this equation because this equation by itself it will not help me to solve for the acceleration. Why? Because I don't know the acceleration. I don't know the tension. So we need to go to the next uh, object. For m2 we said we have the tension and we had m2g. So in this case, we said the motion is downward. So the same thing here. Any force against in the motion will be negative. Any force in the same direction of motion will be positive. The tension will be negative minus T M2G will be the mass two times acceleration. Acceleration for the object one and the object two, they are identical because the two objects are connected to each other. They will uh, have the same acceleration. If you add the equation 1 to 2, what we will see, uh, T minus T vanishes. I have here, I have just minus mu M1G plus M2G equals M1A. I may uh, factorize with G, what will be? 
it will be g factor of m2 minus mu m1 equals this is acceleration we have the acceleration here factor of m1 plus m2 now to find the acceleration we just divide by m1 plus m2 now this is the acceleration of the object the acceleration is 3.45 meters per second squared now this is how we do it now to find the tension we can go to one of the two equations that we saw for the tension should be the same we said from the equation one from the equation one we said the tension minus mu m1 g equals to the mass one times acceleration the tension if we just m1 a plus mu m1 g so we can factorize with m it will be m1 factor of a plus mu g so this is what will be the tension we can use the other equation uh, the equation two and we should find the same thing for the equation two what we have negative t plus m2 g equals m2 a so if i move this term here and i bring this one here what will be it will be t equals m2 g minus m2 a so it will be m2 factor of g minus a so if we do the math we should find the same thing 44.39 newton thank you